When we walked by, it was legit like, yeah, it was so like, I was, Today we're bringing you something that is a little unusual for us, we're doing a story time. We don't usually speak about negativity on our channel, but we thought it would be important for us to share this experience that we had. One, because it might be relatable, and two, because we told y'all we would like a long time ago, <laughs> and we just like never got around to it. But you know, quarantine times, we got time to speak on it. Today. We got time. We, we got, got time, time today. So, let's reflect. As y'all probably remember, so we spent five weeks in Europe during our, our huge Euro trip. We did all these countries and everything like that. It was epic. It was epic. From Italy, gorgeous queen. Of oh, what's that? What's that? Sexy. Mm. <laughs> and for the most part, we had pretty positive experiences, mm -hmm. but we did have like negative experiences along the way. So the first place we went to was London. It was just like a great way to start the trip. It was. Um, but we did have like some experiences in London. Like, do you want to talk about that? That's what was it? When we were at Buckingham Palace? Yeah, we went about? to Buckingham Palace. We went to like their, um, what was it called? Like the tourism shop. Yeah, the, the gift shop. The, the gift shop. shop. Yeah. Buckingham Palace. So this yeah. was like the, when the subtlety began. Mm -hmm. I've been following the story before. I haven't been following the story since about high school, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, so it wasn't as crazy as Budapest, which we'll get to. But we were in Buckingham Palace, literally, one of the security guards were right on us. I was trying to buy, you all saw in the video, I bought a pen. So we went into the Queen's gift shop. Yeah. And I got a souvenir. Yeah. And as I picked up the pen, as soon as I touched it, this is him, right? Right here, this is me. Following us around the entire store. Mm -hmm. And in Europe, it's weird, right? Because in America, when they follow you in a store, you turn around. And they stop looking at you. Yeah, you give them a look. And, and they stop looking like, at you. Okay, yeah. It's like, okay. They were I'm like, like hey. okay. <laughs> they were <laughs> you look at them, they were looking at us like, okay, it was we're like following the you. It was like the meme. Yeah. It was like, you looking at me, I'm looking at you. You looking at me, I'm looking at you. What? Yeah. You're right. I haven't experienced that since I was a little kid. I haven't experienced that since high school. Yeah. I literally remember my last experience very vividly. It was in the Burberry store. Mm. I remember one of my experiences with my cousin. She probably watched our videos. She's probably watching this. We used to go to like this corner store in Houston. And we were, I was with her, and first they started doing little things, like no backpacks in our store, or whatever, we're like, mm -hmm. okay, whatever. And then they kind of started being like, we're only allowing one person to store at a time, this new rule. And it was like, literally, literally, they were like, we have this new rule, only one person in the corner store at a time. It's like, that is not no rule, like, whatever. So we ended up, and it was like my cousins, so we weren't gonna leave each other or whatever. But anyway, that like, I remember when Buckingham Palace happened, it reminded me of that experience, cause I was like, wow, like, this is the last time it's been this blatant. Yeah, in my head, I was just thinking the whole time, I, I thought there was no racism in Europe. Mm. What? Because people said that. People said that all the time. Paris is the next city. After Paris, we went to, um, oh, actually went to Barcelona. We were also like pretty much chilling in Barcelona, mm -hmm. pretty much. Um, so after that, we went to Rome, and we like met up with some friends, and yeah, Italy, we got followed again. Again, <laughs> yeah. We were in the designer store, and again, we were being followed. One of the people we were with, she was describing her experience in Paris. She was like, she'd definitely never go back to Paris. Because mm -hmm. she was trying to buy, I think it was a Louis bag. And the person was following her, like we described in Buckingham Palace. So she said, can you stop following me? And he was just like, no, don't worry about it. I'm trying to help you. Literally, yeah. follow her around the store. She's like, I'm good. I don't need your help. Don't worry about it. I know what I'm looking for. It's like, no, I'm helping you. Don't worry about that. Yeah. It's like, that's crazy. And even going back to what you experienced buying that pen in Buckingham Palace. I remember if you were like, if it wasn't such a nice pen, like I wouldn't even buy anything from the store. Yeah. Cause it was just like, so, it's so offensive. And like, you just feel so disrespected after someone follows you. Like, and there's, the store was packed with people. Like packed, literally. And we were the only people getting followed. Yeah. Coincidentally, we were the only black people, <laughs> so. Yeah. So after like, Italy, we did Rome and Venice, and then we did Geneva. So now we're leaving Geneva, and the next place on our list is Budapest. And here comes sign number one, that something's gonna go a little crazy. So we were supposed to take hop on this train, and we got on and missed our stop. So what ended up happening was they're like the closest like major place to us at the time was Vienna. So they're like, just go to Vienna for a night and just try to get to Budapest the next day. I was super uncomfortable in the yeah. station. Yeah. So we weren't gonna stay there. 
I remember, and I remember you were like, you noticed like everyone staring at us. Everyone staring. Everyone at us. was staring at everyone us. Was like, at forget us. the whole people following us in the store. The whole, the whole train station. Everyone was staring at us. Yeah. We were the only black people, and it was like all the. It was just. It was crazy. So um, anyway, yeah, we but. decided. So anyway, we decided to go to Vienna for the night, mm -hmm. which was great. Like, we which, a great ourselves. experience. Yeah. And then we met those guys. Like, yeah. um, not like, casino, not like that. Casino but casino casino casino. Casino. Yeah. yeah. Like these older guys with the casino ties, they're like, Oh, y'all live in New York, and mm -hmm. everyone, it was just a, it was a good vibe. It was a good vibe, I agree. way different than the train station. So then now it's time to go to Budapest. We already had Budapest on our list, so we didn't want to stay in Vienna for an extended period of time. We're like, okay, cool, which in hindsight, we should have did, yeah, we should have did. did to be honest. There. So we spent the day in um Vienna, mm -hmm. now it's time to go to Budapest. I think we took an overnight train. Mm -hmm. When I tell y'all, I had never been so scared in my life, everyone was staring at us. I felt hard. So uncomfortable. I remember saying it to you, like, do you see this? Yeah. So I'm whenever so you said it to me at first, I felt like you're more perceptive than I am. So I noticed like the guy right in front of us was staring at us. So I was like, whatever, this guy's staring at us. Like, it was weird, but it wasn't like super unusual. So when Sam said that, I looked around, and I'm like, oh, everyone's staring at us. Yeah. Like, I'm like, like in get out. It was eerie. I've been places where the stare is more like I've never seen a black person before. Yeah. And they're staring, they're curious. It was more like, what the heck are y'all doing here? Yeah. So that's what gave me like, oh nah, we gotta go. And yeah. we were even trying to talk about how we're gonna get to our Airbnb. We had an Airbnb in Budapest. I was like, we're definitely taking an Uber, 100%. 100%. There's no way I'm getting in any taxi cabs and there's no way I'm getting on a bus. I'm not doing none of that. And it's crazy because as you're talking about it, I like, I'm visualizing being back there and remembering how I was feeling. I was so uncomfortable, like. And this is from people who have taken road trips through the South. Yeah, I, first of all, so, I'm from Texas, like y'all. Like, it's not like I'm, I mean, no one, in, in, I find no black person in America is like new to racism, but it's not like we're new to racism or whatever. Mm -hmm. So it was just so, it was so different. Was different. It was, it was different. different. Um, so like Sam said, we got our Airbnb. And the first day, we didn't really do anything because Sam was studying, remember? Y'all should go watch the How to Become a Lawyer video. Mm -hmm. where I talk about how you have to like watch all these videos for the New York Law Exam before you can, oh, this is one of the steps to be admitted. Mm -hmm. So Sam, the first day Sam was doing that, so we weren't even actually like out and about like we had planned on being. Like we were just in the Airbnb all day, you were doing your videos, I was like, probably watching Cheetah Girls, I don't know what I was doing. But I wasn't doing any, like we weren't doing much. Mm -hmm. um, and at the time we're like, oh, we wish we were out and about. Thinking back to it and the amount of time that we actually spent outside our Airbnb, there was a reason that yeah. we weren't out here. There was. Like, I don't know. There was a reason our train got delayed. There was a reason our train got delayed. So, so let's we just like, spend that day. Exactly, so let's even like look at where we're at because our train got delayed, so that's one less day. Mm -hmm. Same had to study, so that's another day. The two days where we were expecting to be like out and about in Budapest, that got cut short. Mm -hmm. So and we still even when we get there, we still end up leaving early. And we still left early. Yeah. But anyway, okay. So, so now it's day three. Day three. First thing we do, we go on the side of the street. We go to a restaurant. We try mm -hmm. their like local food. Yeah. Nothing. Because we wanted bad. to. We wanted to try food every place we went to. So mm -hmm. we. So what was it? They had like um, the stews. I know they said try the beer. They had some specific dish. We tried it. I cannot remember what it was called. It, it was. It was pretty good. It was yeah. Good. Um. And then we like hit the streets. Anyway. We went sightseeing. They have like it was beautiful too. Like mm -hmm. you remember like that picture you took? It was like the whole background. Like it was yeah. beautiful. We went on this beautiful boat ride. If we weren't having the experience that we were having, I definitely would have loved to stay a few more days. Yeah. And, and actually be able to experience the city. Yeah, exactly. But 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 so first thing I remember specifically was like we we just straight up could not catch a taxi. Like, yeah. no one was gonna stop for us for well, any. Even before that, I remember people weren't speaking to us for real. People weren't speaking to us. We people, were were to... people never stopped staring at us. Yeah. The eerie yeah. stares that we described from the train Didn't never stop. stopped. Like, since we got off the, the train, like, no one stopped staring at us. Yeah. Um, even our Airbnb holes, like, oh. Like, you can tell us, like, a little, oh. For real? I forgot. Black folks. Oh. <laughs> this Which is fine. Like... It was just like, you know, like, mm -hmm. I, if you, if you don't see black people, it is not surprising to me for you to hit me with like, oh, mm -hmm. like, oh shoot, you're black. Which yeah. is very different than a dead stare. Yeah. Or like a, you like don't a, belong here. Yeah. Kind of, kind of vibe, which yeah, is different. Exactly. Um, I remember, so one of the first things I remember too is that we were walking, 
we were like walking around places because we couldn't get a taxi. I don't even know how to describe it. It was one of those restaurants where they have seating outside. So there were people on both sides of the sidewalk and we walk, they're having a conversation, full blown conversation, talking to each, other, to each other, whatever. As we're walking past them, every single one of them stopped their conversation and stared at us as we walked past them. Like literally like get like literally like the scene from Get Out. Like that's the only thing I can think of that can like match. What Honestly, I'm about. I don't even know. I feel like it was worse. I feel like it was worse because the way they were looking at us. The scene in Get Out, right? Mm -hmm. Everyone's talking, they hear a black dude coming downstairs, like right? Mm -hmm. But it was like when we walked by, it was legit like Yeah. It was so like, I was, uh, I'm telling y'all, I was scared. I was so I was scared. At this point, I'm still just super uncomfortable. I get scared with the construction workers. That's when I was like, oh my god. Oh yeah. Um, like, I was scared since we were on the train. I'm just yeah. keeping it. Uh, I told you that. Yeah. I was like, I feel super uncomfortable. Like, do you think this is safe? Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. Um, we're walking past the restaurant. We get those dead stairs. And I was like, oh my god, did you just experience that? Like, did you peep that? And like, then we, that's when we started talking like more explicitly about it. Like, you feeling what I'm feeling? Cause we realized we hadn't seen no black people. Yeah. Like period. So one, one black person the whole time. Yeah, we saw one black woman the whole time. It looks like she was on a school trip. Yeah. It didn't even seem she like she young. was just yeah, she was really young. Um that's it. We didn't see any other black people while we were there. Period. Period. Um what happened after that? So I know we so walked to those people. We walked to those people and then we're like, okay, let's still try to find things to do. Cause we didn't know where anything was. We didn't do tons of research on the city. A lot of what we were doing just period was asking locals like, hey, what are the best restaurants? Mm -hmm. Hey, what museum should we go to? And our Airbnb host literally drew us a map. Mm -hmm. like, Make sure you go this way, you see this park. Make sure you go over here and visit mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. all that. So we're like, okay, cool. Thankfully, our Airbnb was in a location where everything was walkable. Yeah. Even though it would take like 20, 30 minutes to get there, based on the map he drew us, we can literally walk through everything. After that, after we walked past the restaurants, we decided to try to walk to the museum of something. And that's when we had to pass that walkway with the, the, um, the, the construction work. workers. Oh, the construction workers. Yeah. Oh my God. That's when it was like, bad yeah for me it was a moment where i was like we need to leave so we're walking and like these construction workers are walking towards us and they start hollering at us literally hollering at us hollering whistling staring at us like i was surprised one of them didn't touch us like yeah. it was like they, and they were on us like they're walking past us there's a big group of them and we're just like, like oh how god. much all of that yeah we're just literally like oh my god oh my god oh my god a lot of them, they're like, yeah. yeah. It was just the two of us, and there were like 10 men. Mm -hmm. Y'all, like grown men. Grown men. I was genuinely scared yeah, that something was too. gonna happen with me those too. guys. And if they wanted to, like, honestly, we're in this foreign country, we don't know anyone here. If they wanted to snatch us up, like, what would have stopped them? Or anything, you know, yeah. Like, or anything. anything to us, like, we don't know where we're at. We're walking around because we can't get a taxi. We um, this is this is horrible, but we don't know the number to authorities, right? Yeah, we don't know the number to if authorities. They even help us. Yeah, exactly. So it's just like wow, like traveling while black is so different. It's just so different. Yeah. Traveling as a black woman, I need to be specific. Um, I remember you turned to me too, and you were just like, it could have been before, or after this, I can't really remember. And you were like, if you want to stay extra day. That's fine, but I, I'm really uncomfortable. And I was like, no, we can leave. We can like, leave. That's when we made that decision that we're not staying an extra day. We're leaving. Yeah. Between people, like every car honking at us as we're walking by. Oh my God. Every, yes. like, it was a point where we're like, are we dressed differently than these people? We weren't. We, like, Everyone was honking. Everyone was honking. And every then car. after that, that construction worker situation, it started raining. So we went, um, like, what's, I don't know what it's called. Under like people's covers of their stores. Mm -hmm. Remember, we were just like trying to get warm, or whatever. I mean, trying to. Avoid the rain. We're trying, and we're trying, trying to, to taxi. taxi. Even the people in the stores, like I remember it was the ice cream shop, still remember. They were like staring at us from inside the shop. Just like, okay. not a concern, not what anything. Do do? Just kind of like a, who are y'all? Why are y'all here? Why are y'all close to my store type mm -hmm. feeling? Couldn't find a taxi for anything. Like, not that we couldn't find it. Or we, we couldn't we, stop. There were plenty of taxis. Couldn't get a taxi. Couldn't get a taxi. But it wasn't of the culture where people couldn't hail cabs because we literally saw people do it. Um, there was that one person that was talking to us, remember? We were like crossing the street, we were like, how can we get a cab? And they were like, just go over there or something. Oh yeah, we asked somebody, yeah. I forgot. Like, that was we the were by one that person. Building. Yeah, they were like, just go over there. And we did, couldn't get a cab for, for like 30 minutes. And we were so far away, because we had been walking at that point that we were just like, okay, we need a cab. It's mm -hmm. pouring rain at this point, mm -hmm. couldn't get one. So that's when we had to figure out the bus. Yeah. Oh yeah, so we figured out the bus system, we walked to the bus station, gave it a buy and tickets. 
we get on the hop on the bus i still have a little geneva i'm not geneva i still have a little bus card but anyway hop on the bus and then get on of course this moral this whole story people are staring at us in an eerie type way <laughs> at that point it's normal at this point it's just like i to be stared at i just want to get close to we had been, and you saw it in our Italy video, you saw it in our London video, we had been trying local food everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, but at this point we're like, we're gonna find a food chain to get lunch. Cause okay. there's just no way I'm risking going into this local business with a mm -hmm. bunch of locals. I'd rather go to some type of food chain and hope that they have a bunch of tourists there. Yeah. It was that deep. So we found Fridays and literally there was a table in the front. Like, oh, you wanna sit here? There was three tables full of men staring at us. Mm -hmm. I, I was like, excuse me, can you please put us as far in the back mm -hmm. as possible, away from as many people as possible. Mm -hmm. And then I remember we were eating, we were talking about it, and I was like, this is the first time since we've been here that I'm not getting stared at. Yeah. Like, it was such a relief, you know? That to be sitting in the cut. Just to sit and just eat, just regularly. And then as soon as we left Fridays, we were getting stared at. The whole time we were eating lunch, we were looking at tickets mm -hmm. um, to top on the next uh, Euro train. And we changed our plans too, because that's like the furthest east we had gotten for this east in europe and we were supposed to go like somewhere in poland or something like that oh yeah we're like no, no and no. we're like nope no 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 we're nope. going back to the west side <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna go to wherever we went after it was prague next we had that race experience in prague too and we we're like this is remember the girls like black people oh La yeah Negra. yeah so maybe so probably yeah. at least we're going yeah. to prague like people have told us they had a good experience black women yeah. have told us <laughs> <laughs> not just people because oh let's mention that so we posted this on our story and the diversity and responses was real interesting it was interesting because all the black women on my timeline that have been to budapest responded like girl i had the same experience girl mm -hmm. people thought i was a prostitute and people even dudes like i remember some dudes like someone spinning his food oh yeah and that was evidence to us and we were like okay it was really cool that we just like wanted to hop on and be like all these travelers and not really look places up but that would have been one of the benefits because we would have known probably not to go to budapest yeah if we would have asked anyone we would have asked us. anyone <laughs> anyone if we would have just did like a simple instagram poll because as soon as i posted my story like Same. everyone was like flooding with experiences of how they felt similarly um counter to that all the the white friends we have on our timeline were literally like wow i'm surprised that was your experience i had such a great time i had such a great time in budapest one or two black men that responded to me that also didn't have that experience although there were some that did so i was just like that seemed a little telling to me too like the like gender mixed with it too mm -hmm. um but anyway so we felt more comfortable to like leave and go to prague since like we had we knew people that had positive experiences there and we did for the most part have a positive experience yeah there. so basically in prague like i know you saw we went to the five-story club and we're mm -hmm. eating in that restaurant literally as we went in that restaurant some lady was like pointing at us like yeah. la negra la negra and laughing yeah and it was just like okay she's calling but I didn't feel unsafe. Yeah, exactly. Different cities or whatever, they have such different vibes, like it's real. I probably will never ever visit a part of Europe again, yeah. to be honest. Yeah, probably not. Just, uh, I'm good on that. I was just left really reflective and like really confused. <laughs> I didn't really understand like why people kept telling us that Europe wasn't racist because the racism just seemed so overt. I'm like, yeah. oh. How is that possible that people are yeah. racist here? I still don't get it either. But do you want to? Do you remember anything about the rest of the places we went? Was some Prague, Berlin, went to Amsterdam. I think that was it. Amsterdam was good too. Amsterdam was good. Um, I don't remember experiencing anything. I experienced it. It's the two experiences that stuck on me were Prague, Budapest. And that's probably the most scared I've ever been in my life. Yeah. To this day. Yeah. For sure. That's not the most scared I've ever been. I'm thinking back. But it was one of the times like I've been the most scared. I had some pretty scary experiences in Costa Rica. And. Yeah. I've had like scary experiences with police officers here where I've been like, oh my God. But it was, I mean, even the things I'm comparing it to, it was like, it was obviously like a really horrible experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nah. Just thinking back to how, even the fact, I don't know, how unfair sometimes life can be. Not sometimes, a lot of times. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. yeah, comment below what you think about the story time. If you've been to Budapest and your experience was the same or different, let us know. If there's someone on, if that's something on your travel list and you are a black woman or just black in general, I'd be careful, I would say. Um, there were a couple people after I posted my story that were like, I had it on my list, I'm taking it off. And I was like, I mean, I understand why you take it off. Because mm -hmm. I had a really bad experience, so. Yeah. I do hope it's an anomaly though, and people don't have to experience that. Yeah. So. But if you are worried about safety and you want to be as safe as possible and you're doing something as crazy as we did, which is like go across 
the world without <laughs> knowing much about it. Blindly. Just, at least you're a little less blind now, because you know, like, who the fuck ain't dead. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But yeah. Dang, this is like the saddest story time we've ever done, or saddest whatever video. <laughs> I feel like it's the most transparent we've been though. Really? Yeah. But but okay. We hope that you enjoyed this story time. We hope that you enjoyed our transparency. You got a little more insight into our lives. You see that it's not all happiness and excitement all the time, even though it is a lot. And if you like this video, as always, like, comment, subscribe, and share, and watch out for more videos. Peace. And let us know if you want us to do more story times. Why not? Why not? Mm -hmm. We have stories. <laughs> For day. Check. Did this for myself, don't need no help. I face all my demons by my